Hello and welcome once again to Prison Architect. So in the last episode we had several murders unfortunately which kind of sucks and... <laughs> Polaroid! And, oh, and another Polaroid! Nice! Quite nice finding those actually. Um, eventually they'll just disappear. There we go. So I think a um, infirmary might be a good idea, considering we keep getting people hurt and, you know, death. Yeah. So let's take a look at the grants. We still need cell block B, which is raising our prison capacity more. Um, but yeah, inmate health and well-being. So for this we need a medical ward, we need two doctors, and we need a psychologist's office. Well we've got the psychologist office, so tick. So we just need the medical ward and two doctors. Now I want to dismantle all of these. There you go. Come on, keep going in. Right. And now what I want to put down are these boots. Because I just think they work better. It's easier to separate prisoners and sort of non-prisoners and stuff and so we'll get that done then I can remove that door and just put a normal door there or something oh with that that should be sealed yep I can't put a brick wall there so technically dismantle that door at this point. And that one can be left locked open. Because no one can actually escape. So, I'll have some of these doors please. There and there. And then I want the medical room. Yeah, I do. And then I want it to wrap around there so that I've got space for a morgue. Uh, I do have to build an entrance, so just throw that door there for the moment. Eventually I'll remove it. Now, all of these visit tables I do not need and I won't use, so... Oh, really? I can't sell them? Well, that sucks. I thought I'd be able to. Oh, well. Could be worse, I suppose. What are you waiting for? Or are you just... Oh, you're in lockdown. Well, that's fine. You deserve to be in lockdown. So, let's take a look at bureaucracy. Oh, we've got all the deployment and everything else approved. Could do remote access. Could also do the armor. You know what, I think I'll do the armory. And then maybe tasers and taser rollout. That'd be a nice thing to get done. I've also got prison labor set up. So I could do a cleaning cupboard and stuff like that. Uh, but with deployment, we can set some of these areas for staff only. So now prisoners shouldn't walk in there. And we can set some of these for access only, so prisoners will only walk in there if they need to go somewhere else which they should never have to do. So, 
With this, any prisoner that is caught in one of these rooms will immediately get told off and sort of taken away. Which is kind of handy, to be honest. I don't know if I can... No, I can't do the entire outside unless I've gated it in, but... Seriously, you two are stuck. And that requires an entrance, so there you go. You can have that entrance there. Gonna be built at any point? Oh, don't tell me it cancelled it. Of course, when I opened that door, it actually cancelled the construction. Typical. There we go. Open door. Well, hey! Right. I do actually want it to have a wall across there. I do want it to have a wall across here as well. And then we'll have a staff door just there. And a large jail door. I don't know. Just there. Dismantle and dismantle. And then we'll brick across that as well. Of course. We need to open the door for them to actually remove the door. floor in across those two please so infirmary and more only need a small mall because, you know, I'm going to do my best to not let loads of people die. I say do my best because, you know, people are going to die eventually. There's not much I can do about that. <laughs> and another doctor. So as soon as the medical bed's down, we will have finished the medical ward. Great. be a good idea to lock that open, in fact. Well, hey, finish the grant. Lovely. It would also be a good idea to have some lights in here. You know, just so the doctors can see what they're doing when they're stitching someone out. You know, probably a good plan. Getting close to our power limit. Wow. So many dirty uniforms. That's something else we probably need soon. We need a um, laundry. It would help if I had power in these rooms. That would actually keep things working alright then, wouldn't it? Hey, the rooms have power. So I've got two cell blocks of, sort of these cells. I think my next set of cells should be three by three and include a shower. That way it would sort of take off some of the need to have an extra shower room and stuff like that. And the cells would be sort of a higher value to the prisoners, so, you know. 
they'd be happier having those cells than one without a shower. So let's take a look. Planning. So if they were three by three, I need a break, a break. Oh wow, I could actually get a perfect set in there. Yeah, that would fit perfectly. Nice. Okay then. Do I have enough cash for this? Just like that. And because it says it needs a door, we'll stick one just there. Really? God, go. Oh, God. Go. 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 And go. Damn it, I wasn't in time to stop the death. <laughs> hey look, a use for my morgue. <laughs> it's already proven useful. God damn it. I don't need to go all the way across there, do I? That'll do. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go all the way across because that'll make it easier for people to escape. can be dismantled. And then I'll put a new door down at the bottom. Well, at some point I will work a way of stopping these idiots. In fact, uh, deployment, that would help, wouldn't it? two guards at all times guarding each cell block. That'll help. Are you guys ever going to take that door off? They will at some point, I'm sure. Ah, 
perfect. Taking the door off. So then we can brick in that side. And as soon as that's done, I'll put the door down at the bottom. We also want a door just there. Open, not shut. I do want that there as well, please. Oh, typical. And then long pipe to there. is lunch time. One to two and eight to nine. Okay. So from one to two, I suppose just before and just after as well. And eight to nine. I want four people in there at that time. That works. So whenever we're during these hours basically, I'll have extra guards in the canteen. So that should stop things going wrong in the prison canteen as well. Um, right, deployment, guard patrols. I have two officers in this area as well. Now, put a light in the center of every room. So want loads of jail doors. Oh damn it, we've run out of money. Sell. money again. Beds are expensive. money for the beds yet, I don't think. No. We only need one more bed. Come on. I'll tell them to dismantle some trees. Then we could sell the logs. The reason that I've got in the deployment these guys staying in there for an extra hour is I want to make sure they're still around while these 
prisoners are running out of the room because obviously there is that slight overlap. Right. Sell all of the wood. I need the money. Right. A bed. Just now I need loads of toilets. So the prisoners will be happier with these rooms just because they're sort of bigger. Damn it. They'll also be happier with them because eventually they're going to have a shower in them all. Right. More toilets, thank you. Room quality. Heard a beep. Oh. See, this is why having guards here is a good thing. I catch idiots straight away. Right. So, room cells. Lovely. Now, I'm going to need drains like this, so that the showers don't, and that's all my money gone. But that'll stop the shower, sort of spreading water across the entire room and... Yeah, so these are a two, and this one with the shower is a three. So, yeah, very good. Oh, wow, we just got a massive influx of money because we've just got loads of new prisoners come in. <laughs> Always handy. each as well. That should make him even happier. So yeah, it's a three at the moment. The bookshelf should raise it up to a four. That, I think, is where I'm going to leave this episode off, guys, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.